Alright, right, what's up everyone? My name is Night Reacts and welcome back. As you guys tell about them, they'll tell today we're gonna be reacting to Gorilla's latest album, Cracker Island. Now, a lot of people have been telling me to react to this for I think a week now since it actually released, but sadly I haven't had much time to actually react to it. But now I've made some time, so we're here, we're back, and we're reacting to it. But for the people who are new to the channel, um, first off, welcome. Thank you guys for joining me on this, you know, adventure of me exploring new music, new consider subscribing. But um, for the people who are new to the channel and don't know how this is gonna work, is I'm gonna react to every single song off this album obviously i'm giving my thoughts and critiques throughout each song and then at the end of each song i'm going to be giving it a rating from a df meaning it's a dumpster fire or a d meaning it's a diamond um now each rating has a set amount of points and since this album has 10 songs it needs a total of 100 points to equal a 10 out of 10. But yeah other than that i kind of just want to get into this if you're new to the channel because subscribing is for the channel a lot but yeah other than that enough talking let's get right into this video i'm actually very excited for this all right, so the first track, track number one, the title track, which is Cracker Island featuring Thundercat. Island, it was born. Ooh, it's getting to already. Okay. To the collective of the dawn. Damn. Pain is sad as I consume. Hey. Into my form as I break my soul. In the end of. Yo, this is good. Like, I'm only like 40 seconds in, but really, so far, this is really cool. I like the concept of the song so far. They taught themselves to be a cop. They didn't know his many strategies. They taught themselves to strategy. Yo, the vibe is immaculate so far for this song. Yo, okay. We're halfway done so far. I've been giving my little thoughts, you know, since we're halfway done. Um, so far, I love it. I think instrumentally it's really good. I think instrumentally it's really unique. But it's also very vibey, and I love that. I think lyrically, it's really good. I love the concept of lyrics. I think lyrically, it's awesome. And so far, vocally, I love the vocals in this song because it kind of has like a little bit of a haunting airiness to it, but it also sounds really, really good, and I love the vibiness of it. So yeah, so far, I'm I'm loving this. I don't know if I would listen to it like a lot like off screen but I I'm not joking when I say it's a really good song like so far this is really good I it feels like a song that I would have to give it a few more listens to know if I'm actually gonna like play it a lot and so far with this song I don't know if it actually has a lot of replayability but it is a very good song I really love the song and I think for a intro to the album, I think it's great so far. All right, so that was track number one, Cracker Island, featuring Thunder Cat. I'm gonna give that a W. Um, I think lyrically it was good. I think instrumentally, vocally, everything about that was good. I think it was a great starter to the album. I think it was a great intro to the album. Um, the replayability value on this song, I wouldn't say is very, very high, but honestly, I could see myself coming back to this song every once in a while to listen to it. But yeah, I'm not gonna let that like change the rating or anything. So yeah, nine points to the board. Let's go. Um, all right, so next track is track number two, Oil, featuring Stevie Nicks. That's actually it's an odd feature. I wouldn't really thought of that. I don't know why the synthesizer kind of reminds me of like 2010s. I, I don't know why. It's like a 2010s synthesizer. Um, I don't know why. I can't say the word very well, but it's kind of remind me of that. But it's good so far. I like it. Lyrics is really good on this song. crap we just got a new subscriber go tremor 908 thank you for subscribing even though i'm not even live right now god i gotta do another live stream bro all right so far I really like this. oh i love the voice he makes it like come here right yeah i love this this is really good so far Oh, this is really good so far. I'm not even joking. Like, 
um so far just this these two songs alone like they're really good like i love these um yeah this is great all right so that was track number two oil featuring stevie nicks i'm gonna give that another w i really enjoyed that i think lyrically it was really good i think instrumentally it was vibey i think stevie nicks killed it um even the girls also killed it too don't worry um yeah i love that that was a great song all right on to the next track which is track number three tired influencer this is the first one without a feature on it Yeah, this is really nice. I like this. Like, so far, I really enjoy this. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like this. I'm like really vibing to this song like i know i'm not really talking too much throughout the song i apologize if i'm not i'm just really just i'm just kind of vibing you know it's really nice you know like do you hear that music in the background right now my oprah gx is just playing like this very soft melodic music it's beautiful isn't it i didn't even ask it to it was just doing it on its own it's beautiful isn't it calm relaxing i'll go back to this song I love this. This is really good. This song. Also, was that Siri talking in the background of the song? I think that was Siri talking in the background of the song. Oh, I wait one second. I need to put some banger music on, bro. I don't know why the hell I'm having like this. This is not lo-fi, my guy. What's cozy? These are so boring what's cyber better you know what we'll stick with this one all right but yeah that was track number three the tired influencer i really enjoyed that i thought that was amazing i think instrumentally it was good i think the vibe was just immaculate um that's another w i really enjoyed that um what the um all right but yeah that was a massive w i really enjoyed that all right on to the next song which is silent running give me like stranger things vibe or something yeah a little bit of a whistling too right. oh my god this is Vibes in this album so far immaculate, bro. This might be my favorite song so far. Wow, that's a loud that background music. I want like a cool background music, not this like inspirational background. Breathe in, breathe out. Let the energy of the earth surrounding you enter your insides and escape. Yeah, so far this song is very vibey. Yo, yo, I gotta go full home with the vibe with my guy. You can chill. So that was track number four, Silent Running. That is an immaculate song and that is a diamond. I think the vibes were absolutely perfection. With the amazing flawless vocals from both Adelio, Amotayo, and Gorillas. But yes, beautiful track. New Gold. Also, I just realized my thing's all mixed up. New gold is before. T okay, wait, let me go swap everything. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is so good. 
swear to God, if this is a top heavy album where the first half is amazing and then the second half is going to be awful, I'm going to be so disappointed. <laughs> Bro just got like perfect vibes, bro. But yeah, that was awesome. Um, but yeah, that was track number five, New Gold. That is almost a diamond. I'm not even joking, but I'm gonna give it a W for now. Maybe later on, I'll probably change it. But so far, it's a phenomenal song. I love it. I think instrumentally it was great. I think lyrically it was great. I think vocally it was great. Everything about that was great. Honestly, it was amazing. You know, this music be making me feel type of way, bro. I don't know what is like me sad. What the hell? Okay, on to the next track. Track number six, Baby Queen. Woo! So that was track number six, Baby Queen. I'm gonna give that another W. I really enjoyed that. Um, good start so far to the second half of the album. Um, I think lyrically it was good. I think vocally it was great. I think instrumentally it was phenomenal. I love the instrumentals. But yeah, again, massive W. I loved it. All right, so next track's track number seven, Tarantula. Okay. Sounds like this. I don't know why that sounded like an intro to like one of those like old cartoons like y'all remember like those old like i like live action cartoons that they would do back in the day with like the puppets and stuff i don't know why that reminds me of that Come again. Okay. Green compare a little boring compared to other songs but i mean it's not that bad Oh, like so far it's so w so far it doesn't seem like a song that i would really return to very much but it's not bad it's still so far it's still like you know w worthy all right so that was track number seven tarantula i'll still give it a light w not like a high w a light w so that means it's probably gonna be seven points um and sub nine because it's a light w it's like almost borderline mid um reason is is it's a it's not a bad song it's still a solid song it just has moments in it where it's very lackluster and kind of boring and it kind of gets dull especially for a long like long an average length song like normally for like short songs it's fine but like for songs that are like three minutes and 31 seconds long I feel like it could have those dull moments could have had a lot more for those dull moments but it didn't so i'm gonna give it a light w for now but still not bad song um all right next track is track number eight tormenta featuring bad bunny I mean, honestly, this is a really, really boring song. So that was Trek number eight, Tormentia, featuring Bad Bunny. It was mid, like that. That was mid. That that was mid, mid. That that was really, really mid. That's like middle, middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, it, it was okay. It wasn't anything special. Um, it kind of just sounded like a Bad Bunny song with like a little bit of. Um, how do you say of gorillas instrumentals or style of instrumentals like it wasn't anything special um but yeah other than that next track second to last track holy crap we're almost done this already um second to last track skinny ape it's not bad right now it's just very boring still I feel like compared to other songs, it is a little lackluster. Which kind of sad. This is the longest song on the album, so. And y'all know how much I hate long songs, so. It kind of sucks that we're halfway done and there hasn't been anything too, too special. Like, so far as I like W, like, it's not a bad song, but I feel like it kind of feels like it's gonna be a mid. Is he saying I'm a cartoon G? Oh my god, it is. I'm a cartoon G. Wow, okay. 
Where did that come from? Why is <laughs> Wait, why did it just get start getting hype all of a sudden? Oh. Don't be sad for me. Alright, so that was track number nine, second to last track, skinny ape. Oh, I'll give it a light W. I, I I wouldn't really say I would come back to the song a lot. Um, if any, if at all, actually, it's not a bad song. I don't think it's a bad song. I just feel like compared to others, it's a little bit lackluster and it kind of dragged on for a while. I feel like they could have like cut a good 20 seconds off this song. Um, but yeah, it, it wasn't terrible. I think the lyrics were pretty okay. I think instrumentally was solid. Um, I think vocally was solid too, but it's just, I don't know. There's a lot of dull moments in there and there was a lot of like dragging on. So, yeah. What's your basic but It wasn't bad. <sighs> yeah, we're finally here. The final track. Track number 10, Possessions Island. Coming back in from the past. Yeah, it sounds nice so far. I kind of hope it's more Where things they don't they don't exist. Like, try to make and it we're more all in this together till the end. Till the end. Change tarantula. No, I'm gonna change tarantula to a W. I think it was solid. It wasn't that bad, honestly. You know, no, maybe with a few more listens, it should be okay. For forgiveness. Forgiveness. Ooh, that's a nice All right, so that was track number ten, the final track, Possessions Islands. Um, I'm gonna give that a massive W. I really like that. I think instrumentally it was good. I think vocally it was very beautiful. Um, I think lyrically, I love the concept of the lyrics. Um, I think for an outro of that album, I think they did very well. And honestly, I think they went out with a very good outro. But yeah, we did it. We reacted to Cracker Island by Gorillaz. Now, I honestly really enjoyed this album. I thought it was a great album. Honestly, I really did. Um, as you guys can see here, I thought it was an amazing album. I think lyrically, this album was actually really great. Um, other than Tormenta, I, I think that was pretty dull of a song. But I think instrumentally, same thing again, except Tormenta. Vocally, honestly, vocally on Tormenta was actually really good. I like the vocals on it. But I do think lyrically and um, instrumentally, it does. It is kind of dull that song but other than that everything else is really good um, for all the other songs now rating wise this album needs a hundred points to be a 10 out of 10 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna tally up the points real quick alrighty so in total this album got a whopping 87 points out of 100 meaning that this album got an 8.7 out of 10. Now, I think that is a very, very valid rating. I think lyrically, this album was good. I think instrumentally, this album was good. I think vocally, this album was good. I think everything about this album was good. Honestly, I'm very happy I got to react to this. Uh, let me know if I should react to more Gorillaz. Um, if not, you know, also let me know if you those don't want me to. But yeah, also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It's for the help of channel a lot. We're at channel road, three subscribers, and I really do want to hit three subscribers before the end of this year. It would be very, very very helpful i would love to hit it soon i mean it would be great but yeah um <laughs> other than that let me know what else to react to subscribe to the new channel turn on post notification bell so if i ever upload uh go check out my youtube i'm gonna do rings and reviews on the pieces of songs to react to also go check out my instagram discord server all the social media links in the description and my handlebars are up here but other than that hope you have an amazing day night evening wherever you are and i'll see you next time peace